Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three Baker's Corner single serve mug delights. Baker's Corner is an Aldi brand. We have the brownie mix, the cinnamon coffee cake, and the confetti cake. These were $1.99 at Aldi. You get four individual pouches in um, each box, so you can make four mug cakes. What you do is you take the pouch, remove the pouch, and it looks like this. And so it does give microwave instructions on the pouch. So if you want to take it to work, you can remember uh, what you need to do. You don't have to keep the box. So you open this and you dump it in your cup. And then you need two tablespoons of water. I'm going to move it over here. Two tablespoons of water, and you stir. And so once you have stirred all that powder, then you microwave this for one minute to one minute, 10 seconds. So that's what the brownie looks like. So I'm just gonna go through and show you what the other ones look like. And then um, when these are uh, finished, when they're when they're cooked, when Kevin and I sit down at the table, we'll talk about the, the calories and all that good stuff. So you can see this one, this is the uh, cinnamon coffee cake and it is a lighter color. Once again, you have your two tablespoons of water. Like this. And so it's a creamy color. And then the confetti, I'm excited to see this one because you know confetti cake is always, um, <laughs> I tell you what, this, they just, this is how they look. They just shoved them down in that box. I don't know if that's a person doing that or a machine, but normally these mud cakes that you get, they're set up really nice. This one's like somebody just literally, they're going down a line and somebody is manually shoving those in with their own hands. So, <laughs> That's funny. And so this one, you do get some pops of that uh, uh, color, the confetti. So my two tablespoons of water and then stir. Yeah, you have more. There's some pinks and orange and purple. So that's how that looks. So we are going to microwave all three of these and when we're finished, I'll show them to you. I wanna show you how they look before we get started. This is the brownie mix. This is the cinnamon coffee cake mix. And this is the confetti cake mix. So I always get comments on these videos, especially these videos, that if you use milk, it'll be so much better. Some of these uh, mug cakes do say that you can use milk. They do, they say either milk or water. My opinion on that is if uh, they shouldn't say they, that they're good with water, if they're not good with water. So if we've reviewed a mug cake and it says that you can use water and, it, it, and it, we didn't think it was very good, well then the company should know that and they shouldn't have said that, you know, because they would know how it uh, tastes the best. So you would think they would want it to, you know, show the best. Um, these do not have that as an option. So if you want to do that when you get them home, that is your option. But for these videos, these reviews, we always follow the directions. Um, Manufacturer so, suggested Yes, <laughs> because I feel like they know how they taste best. So these say specifically use water. They don't say anything about milk, so that's why we use water. So um, the, uh, the confetti cake mix, uh, is 260 calories per cup. So, here we go. That's the lowest of the three. It looks very fluffy. Mm -hmm. These, when you bake, bake them in the microwave, if you've ever made a mug cake, they smell like your typical mug cake. There's a, there's a, you know, just like a protein bar has a typical protein flavor. These have, mug cakes have a 
just a smell about them. It's good. I think that's pretty good. It's not yeah. plain, but it's good. Yeah. I actually think that's pretty good because mm -hmm. we've had some confetti mug cakes before that were terrible, that we hated, that we would never buy mm -hmm. again. It's like, I would never try that again. No, nope, this for you. is actually good. It's yep. just a white cake. Yeah, and if you bought um, Kroger, Walmart, and places sell that little like frosting tube yes. that you can put on top, yes. you got your favorite frosting and squirt it on top of it, just a little bit. Um, yeah, that would add would, a lot to it too. Yeah, you wouldn't have to add a yeah. lot. It's 260 calories. You could add uh, a little bit and um, make it bump it to like 300 calories and a little bit would go a long way with that. Oh yeah, I think. yeah. I mean, it's good. It's just kind of plain. Yeah, and it, it there is a sweetness there. Oh yeah, vanilla, kind of a vanilla flavor. It's not bitter from any of no. the sprinkles or whatever. So that's no, good. and that's you know Kevin's sensitive to bitter, so yeah. he would know. Um, this is the cinnamon coffee cake, and I'm it's looking forward to this one. 290 calories. So this is the highest, yeah. highest calorie one. Um, the texture of that one, the first one, was really good too. Is yes. very a very good fluffy cake. Yes, I and mean, it looks like actual cake. I mean, it is actual cake, but you know, like I mean, baked in a pan in the oven. <laughs> I'm very impressed with that. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's a little drier than I was expecting, but I think that has a uh, mm. wonderful cinnamon flavor, mm -hmm. and it's not overdone. For some reason, when I took that bite, I thought, you know what would be good with that? Maple syrup. Yeah, you could put a little bit of dribble of syrup on there. I have, um, I, I use, for, for Kevin and Ashley, I buy regular syrup. But for me, I buy the lower sugar or sugar-free or mm -hmm. some kind of sugar. It, it doesn't have a lot of calories, but it's still really, really good. I can see adding that to that cinnamon. I can and see that. It Almost just, like a pancake flavor. Yeah, like a... A, a cinnamon flavor pancake. Yeah, <laughs> it, it would be so good. Like French toast or yeah, something. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. I could see that. That, that would be really good. And then you could have it for... Um, it would be more like a breakfasty food rather than a dessert. That's true. But yeah, I really I like, like the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. It is um, just like you baked a cake in the oven. That's mm -hmm. how... Um, the texture is. Okay. Yes. Like if it... If you push into it, it's gonna spring. It's springy. Yeah. Um, that's a really nice. It's good because we've had some textures. Of these are really dense and close. And mm -hmm. the, yeah, they were very. Yeah, good. that has a good cinnamon flavor without being overpowering. Okay, the last one is the brownie mix. It's 280 calories, so it's in the middle. Right in the middle. Okay, and it also it doesn't look like a um, like you can make cake-like brownies or you can make chewy brownies. Yeah. This is a cake brownie. Right. More fluffy. Mm-hmm. And it tastes like a rich... Mm-hmm. Very chocolatey. Yes. It's a darker chocolate. It's not milk chocolate. And because of that, that's my least favorite of the three, although it's still really good. Mm-hmm. I like that a lot. And this one, um, especially, would be excellent with some um, a topping a chocolate frosting. Yeah. Chocolate or frosting. vanilla frosting, you know. Vanilla with chocolate. Any frosting, <laughs> yeah, it would be very good with that. I mean, not that it's not sweet enough as it is, but um, yeah, the frosting would help add, uh, cut some of that bitterness from the darker flavor it chocolate. It is a little bit bitter. Yeah. But if you eat uh, dark chocolate anyway and you don't mind that, then you're really going to be pleased mm -hmm. with this. Like you said, it's more like a dark chocolate than a, than a regular chocolate. But it's very similar to any brownie you get out there. It's mm -hmm. very similar to any brownie you buy. This so, is a really good really price. Good. Yeah, I don't remember how much the other ones we've tried. We've tried um, two other brands. Out there. No, we've tried three other brands. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I don't know how the, the price of these compares to those. But I can tell you, you're safe to buy any of them. Mm -hmm. It just depends on the taste of the of you and the the taste of the people in your family. Um, because, but for a quick dessert, there you can't beat them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. And I think they're going to be filling if you eat them a little bit at a time. You know, Kevin's dug in there, and so have I. And you can see how much is left. So if you, you know, don't rush through it, it's going to last you a little while. So if you have an Aldi, I would definitely recommend picking these up. Um, I'm uh, going to have a picture for you all at the end. And thanks for watching.